It's horrible. I know it is. Ah, oh. you, you you guys know what video this is. Um, I'm basically doing a Manchester United review on the last City game. Um, even though I want, uh, even though most of you are wondering, oh, why are you like that? You only drew two two. Um, by the way, just before this, right, credit to Leicester City for getting a last minute goal. You know it happens, but I swear to God, it is killing me. Um, I it, it's it's killing me now. Like the the reason why I've done a review on the Bristol City game because believe it or not, in the Carabao Cup quarterfinals, um, we conceded a last minute goal against Bristol City. Now I I knew it was going to be a shocker of a game because it's um it is right it is. Bristol City in the Championship at home, full style eleven now. Oh, it's un unbelievable. Like, oh. and then it's gone the last minute. But to be honest, like pe people thought, like I was going to be like, people thought I was going to be angry. Like I'm not really. Like I'm, I'm more happy for them. I'm um, obviously disappointed in Man United. We, we, we could have got a result there, but we didn't. Fair enough. Um, but. The reason why I'm more pissed off, really, is because in the Man United Leicester game, which I watched live, pardon me, um, so we get caught on the counter attack. It, be it's beautiful play by Leicester, by the way. They just hunt the ball up, and our defence has been kind of bad the last couple of games. And I'm a bit nervous about facing Burnley at home because Burnley have got a really good away record, but. Um, they counter attack with the Jamie Vardy scores, fair enough, it's 1 0. Then Mata, and I said before the game, Mata is an absolute G because when we when we lost to Man City, he was the one to pick Manchester United back up again because he was like doing loads of tweets on Twitter, loads of uh, tweets on Instagram, loads of tweets on Facebook, saying to, like, to all the crowd, like saying all the fans, like, we're sorry about this, like, we'll fit it around. And he scores two really good goals. It's a free kick with amazing, and we were 2 1 up. And then we had a chance to score again. Lingard made it around the keeper and hit the post. The only time you can't miss. Maybe, maybe it, it could have been worse um, if we would have conceded. Maybe if it would have been worse if we were losing that game and you missed it. This possibly would have been. But the thing that I'm trying to say is that you need to be taking your chances more. Because I, I knew they were going to get a last minute goal that game. I knew it. I absolutely knew it. Um, then we're in again, another one on one. Rashford goes round the keeper. Rashford goes down, and you know me, I am a very biased fan. I can admit when there's a, when like it was one something wrong. From the referee's angle, I agree with him. It wasn't a penalty, but from a different camera angle, it sees that it did connect with him, and it did go down. Maybe Rashford did go down a bit easy, but he did get contact with him. But the, from the referee's angle. I agree with this decision. So, that's something big. Then we're in again. We sweat it again and figured like, the defender gets back and we and we weren't taking our chances. See the highlights, we weren't taking them. Right? And then we, we get caught on the break again. And I swear to God, Rashford was walking on the counter attack. Three against one. Three, the one is the defender, then the goalkeeper. So basically, three against two. But I swear to God, Rashford was walking, and everyone in the pub was there, and fucking run! And he wasn't. I understand, oh yeah, he can't hear you. I know, but like, but Rashford was just walking. And I swear to God, he was walking. And it was like, and Mourinho said it was childish, and it was, and I agree with him. Don't like it how Mourinho's getting the blame for it. Um, was not his fault that game. I think he did an excellent job of that game. The United players were just like, no. I think it's just Rashford, I think. Like, I don't know why I didn't take Martial. Martial was it was on for like 75 minutes and he came on for last, last 15. Martial, he would have run the whole pitch in 90 minutes. Rashford would have walked it, I swear. And then, like, uh, Smalling gets injured. Um, and credit to him, like, he was like, no, I ain't going off because we used all of our subs at the time. Um, we used all of our subs at the time and... Um, he wanted to stay on and credit to him because I didn't, I, I didn't want to go 10 men down even though they got a red card which I did not agree with I didn't think it was a red card plus C it was a bit harsh um, but then Albrighton whipped it in to Smalling and uh, Smalling couldn't get to it because like he really hurt his hamstring and I don't think it was his fault when Maguire scored in the last minute and I said to my, I said to, I said to my dad 
It was our own fault. We saw we, we saw it coming. We could have finished the game off with some injury we didn't choose to. Um, but but thank God, like um, Chelsea, Everton, Arsenal, and Liverpool all drew that game, all drew that day. City, they obviously won four 0 You know, close City. Oh, but yeah, that's my basic review on it. I'm very angry with the United players. I'm not angry with Mourinho. I liked how he we went out that game because Leicester City, bloody hell, they can break in credit to them. They're a very good team on the break on the counter. Um, but. I just hope there's an improvement when we face Burnley at Old Trafford because if we can beat Burnley at Old Trafford, I think he'll do a good statement to everyone below us because Burnley, they've got a really, really good away record against big teams and I'm hoping we do not fall across that. So thank you guys so much for watching and see ya.